Now I want to install the feedback board on this positioner. Feedback has a specific uh, location and if you want to connect it to the positioner, two connectors must be connected. Uh, and then after installation to the rest of the equipment through these connectors, since these options are such that they may not be on the positioner, so you can buy them separately but you have to be able to install them on the positioner. Now, to install the feedback to the positioner, I open the metal frame of the limit switch and this volume is removed and after separating this, the indicator will be open too. After opening all the screws around the board, you can remove it. After removing the top board, you disconnect the limit switch connector, same as the thing that I did. Normally, there is no limit switch on the positioner and when you remove it from the positioner, there is an amp positioner on it. It means, like feedback, it is installed as an option. In order to continue the stages, I have to remove the LCD from here now the board cover is separated. There are two boards here and in this stage you can remove the top board. There are two connectors here to connect the board on them. One of the connectors is X15 and this connector must be connected to it. It passes through here. In fact, the route is determined when designing the device. I put this connector here and it comes down from here. There is another connector here which is FFC. It is used for the cables that connect to LCD. I mean the FFC cables, one end of this connector connects here and the other end connects to the feedback. After connecting the FFC cable to the feedback, the feedback is attached here. I mean, one cable comes from another, the second board, and another cable comes from connector X15 on the first board. The dual connector is connected here, which is shown with X2, and one end of the FFC connector is connected to X6, and the other and is connected here, which is shown with X3. After all these steps, feedback is active and usable. You need to separate these five spacers to remove the second board in order to install the feedback board because it is installed under the second board. In general, if you want to install the feedback board, you have to remove the second board first. Okay, I opened the spacers that were here and now I can remove the second board. You can see the potentiometer here and this Samsung potentiometer has a very interesting system because the company has made it on this screen. This cable is connected to the board from piezo. Now the feedback must be installed here, I mean under the second board. At first, I connect the connectors on different board classes. I raise the protector. As you can see, the blue object of this end of FFC cable has fallen. Be careful, when you want to connect the FFC cable, this blue object must be attached to the cable because without this blue object, the connectors do not hold the cable. So I must attach a blue screen to this end and then connect it. I try to connect the cables as straight as possible. I mean, it must be vertical and connected to the connector completely. After that, I press the protector on it until I hear it is closed, which means the cable is totally tightened. I put this cable under the second board and there's another cable on the first board and it must pass through this groove and go under the second board. In fact, all these parts have been determined before pre-planned. The feedback is installed under the second board and then these two cables are installed on it. 
if you look at this part, there is one cable here which is connected to the feedback in this way. And the other one is the FFC cable. And I have to attach uh, the missing blue screen to it.